you have double anointing. Ah, mafuta gwe katwa inaga mirundi yebili. Mire sat. Mkama yeba zibwe. Hallelujah. You are going to pray for the dead and the rise. Ujja kusabira abafu bazukire. Mkama yeba zibwe. Hallelujah. So, mkama yeba zibwe ne mkwano gwange. Mr. Sechide has already come. Yes. Been, they have been together for that eight years. We are happy to see you. But faith, uh, let Daddy speak on faith. behalf of your I just have given them a history. But I thank you for being a strong woman and a believer. And somebody who has a strong faith. We thank God for, for, for the Father, Dr. Mulinde. Thank you so much, Mama. Thank you for keep taking care of these children. We thank you and praying for you. What we have been seeing in Gideon and saying that Gideon is here. God is with this very different. We shall stand with you in prayer. We shall be with you in hard and good times. Today I saw the church is together because of Gideon. I've never seen this. We have buried Ugandan generals. But from different, you know, everybody, everybody, even who doesn't know him, Gideon Masters. So, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. On behalf of my family and the behalf, because I was given this task by the Father, father tata. by the Father of Faith. Tata of faith. And personally, I had met him, him at home. He's not a, his father was shared. Tata with Wayugira. And he felt that Faith had decided to come to Uganda. Nagant Faith as they were coming to Uganda. Although for them they had the, some reservations, as anybody would have. Bo, ngabali ne bivazi zevira le biyabali me sobo kujia. But Faith was determined lady who had taken up her. Uh, 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 Gideon, where he had met faith. As a father would do. Because the father always would like to know. Then he told me that he met him when they were in Israel. 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 He felt, I mean, all his arrangements towards faith started working out. Na uli da anti bulin teka teka ye, a woman of faith, bikola. So, I asked him that, but have you talked to her? Did you talk to her about your feelings? And she said that it took time to talk to her. Nanganji, na yogera na ye? He had to pray first to see that if it was not just a matter of fresh, he shared it with his father. The father always says, you know, for the boy that, okay. Why I'm saying this is that because the Lord who made Gideon and faith has had brought them together. Somebody from Australia and the other one from Uganda. You have Uganda. Something had clicked. So I felt nobody could stop this arrangement. And I saw it in faith. Faith was, she's a very determined daughter. Faith Because how she was determined is that remember all the planes were grounded during the COVID pandemic. But faith made her way through all those. I don't know how she chattered. I don't know how she connected. Faith yatuka. Simanyo ba yari nyonyi meka yatuka. And 
when people had to collect her from Mutukula. And you see, Faith had sold everything of hers in Australia to come for marriage with Gideon. Faith in Gavulichichi, Australia, Amazochi Tunda, Yazi, Uganda, Mufumbo. She came wholeheartedly. And she came that she wanted to become a wife of Gideon. Regardless of all, all other people, what they were saying. Because she had heard from the Lord. We should thank her for, for hearing to the Lord and saying. Face and came and with all the determination to be a wife. He listened to all the counseling. He listened to all kinds of things which we had because she was entering a new character. So, but she would be, she was a very obedient, learning lady. And her partner was also a, 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 a spiritual person who gave her all the benefit of doubt that. She, was, she had not taken a wrong decision. So today, as we are seeing that faith, he wants to say goodbye to the, the body of Gideon. Because we know faith, the, the, the spirit life of Gideon is still alive. It's just a matter of the Lord's decision. If he comes back into that body and then he'll be with her. Our prayer has been that because we have been praying for to come back to the body. And he's not so. Father, today we are witnessing a day when a faithful lady departs in body with her husband. It, was, it has not been easy for her. She has been challenging our faith. Because all of us, we know that when first somebody is declared dead, we start learning for the but Gideon's case, because of faith, faith, because of faith, faith, she stood and said, no, Gideon is going to resurrect. Every time she's been telling Gideon is coming back from the And I know he's coming back. We have not declared him dead, but we know that he's with us. Anything. Faith, faith, is strong. With all the opposition she has faced, she still kept on believing. believing. We want to believe with her. That resurrection is possible. It is only in God's will. Amen. Amen. So we want God's will to be done. Not, not as far we would like, but as God's will to be done. We would like to thank uh, Faith and all the people who have helped them in their marriage. That we have learned something. That as a young couple, they were faced with challenges. Because faith came to encourage the husband in the ministry. Faith In so doing, she started working out some commercial arrangements. Initially, when they were they had started a small business. Business and tono tono. Satan challenged them. They came and stole whatever they had put in that place. 
Satan challenged them, he came to take away the things they had arranged with the husband. It was very unfortunate. You know, me and my wife, we are business people. We felt we should, we should give them some areas where we can help them. But always when you want to help somebody, let him first swim. And if he swims and he swims well, that's good. But as he goes along, he lands along the way. Uh, we would like to thank that they, they, they had done something. But I feel that faith, you are going to continue. We are here to help you. We stand that we should be able to continue guiding you. Now, in this time. May God bless you.